Iran continues to dominate news out of the Middle East. Yesterday we heard that they were planning to cut off fuel supplies to Italy, France, and Spain, and that would be a devastating blow to the European community and those particular nations. Uh, they recently just shadowed uh, American warships as they transited back into the Persian Gulf through the Straits of Hormuz. And then some of the most chilling pictures uh, came up yesterday as a result of their latest advance in developing their quest for a nuclear weapon. Mm -hmm. In the news were pictures and actually videos of them unveiling fuel rods uh, supposedly for their nuclear power. And yet you wonder what in the world are they really doing with those things? There, is there a, a greater purpose in mind for nucle nuclear weaponry? And so it was actually kind of a scary picture as they were unveiling this. They had a, a, like a white sheet and they, they were almost like they were praising Allah as they were removing, you know, the veil over these fuel rods. And Lit so literally there were, it was a gasp of amazement in the picture that I saw on the yeah. news as they unveiled this for their leadership uh, and looked at this laying on the table of a fuel rod that would give them the ability to develop a nuclear weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, this has gone far beyond any uh, protestation they've made about developing it for peaceful energy purposes for their own people. There's, uh, there's no question in, in astute observers' minds that what they are developing is a nuclear weapon to use against their enemies. We were reading, uh, Steve, in, in this scripture out of Psalm 83 again, where it talks about a, a coalition of, of nations they're in the Middle East against the, uh, Israel, and uh, specifically Israel is mentioned. It says they have taken crafty counsel against your people and consulted together against your sheltered ones. They've said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. Uh, Iran has made specific threats against Israel. They have. And, and we, we can't forget it's something that we should care about. Sometimes we think, well, it's way over there. You know, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect Australia. How does it affect Canada? It's way over in the Middle East. It doesn't seem to really be that important for us because our life just seems to go on and on. And yet, we need to take notice. We need to watch out. Uh, the, the really important matter to understand here is that here we see a nation who has made direct threats against uh, neighboring countries and against Western nations uh, looking at the, the birth in their midst of a weapon that can kill millions of people. Uh, this is being displayed and acted out on our television screens each day and again it, it's important that we take note of this and understand the seriousness of the times in which we live uh, and also have a measure of understanding of what lies beyond. There is the world seems to be going into a dark tunnel, but there's light at the end of that tunnel. Mm -hmm. And when you understand prophecy, you know that the end of the story, while there's so many difficult times and there's going to be tribulation, there's going to be difficulties, but yet when we get to the end, when we have a close relationship with God, when we're right with Him, He's got the plan in mind, and it's going to be a great thing. The kingdom of God is on the way, and we can look forward to that. Once again, we have to kind of remind our audience and you that uh, our mission on Beyond Today is to not only present the bad news of this world today and what's taking place and let that wake us up and give us a sense of urgency, but also present you with the good news that the Bible presents of God's kingdom and of Christ's intervention. Uh, there is hope, there is understanding, but it is in the Bible and it is not upon the, the headlines and quite frankly off of the cable news networks of our screens today that we're going to get that true understanding of what's taking place, what's going, what it's going to lead to, and the hope and understanding that lies beyond that. That's why you need to be tuning in to what we are saying on Beyond Today and in the literature and the uh, Good News Magazine, what we produce out of our efforts here. All right, that's BT Daily for today. We'll see you next time.